Hey folks, Doug here, Tom Burr Cedars. Just wanted to give a quick update on the, the no-till food plots that I planted just over a month ago now. So this plot right here in front of us was the no-till half of this. I also did about half of it full till uh, just because I was expanding this plot slightly. Um, so yeah, it's been about just over a month and I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. This no-till half definitely had a slower start than the full-till side, but I would say it's definitely caught up at this point. It's kind of interesting, even the stuff that's really protected in some of the thatch that didn't quite lay down some of the biggest leaves. <laughs> but yeah, this looks, this looks really good. Definitely see a ton of that crimson clover and then a lot of brassicas as well, so... This is coming in really nice on the no-till side. This was rye, standing rye that I planted into. See inside our cage here. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty much the same as outside the cage, so I'm happy to see that. The deer aren't uh, <laughs> hammering this stuff quite yet. It's right at the end of August here. So we'll take a look. So this is no-till. And then once we get on this side, you can kind of see the line there. This is all full tail over here from that line this way. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like this was the exact same seed rate, the exact same seed. Obviously, pretty much the exact same ground. Um, so a good comparison. I feel like, you know, I said it, the, the no-till side was a little bit behind as far as seedling growth at first, I think after the first two weeks. You can see these are bigger, but I'm also seeing that we've got some browse activity here. I've got a, a camera set up near that little uh, spruce down there. I'm definitely seeing a bunch of does in here feeding already. So they're hitting it a little bit, but I would have to say the, the full till side, I don't know, looks a little bit better to me. Definitely got some more grass. This, this ground here hadn't been worked in, well, I don't even know, since we bought the farm. Going on 20 years ago. So I'm guessing at least 30 years since it's been been worked at all. So probably gonna be fighting, fighting a lot of weeds in here, but pretty happy with this. It's a nice, nice green field. It's looking really good. I think both halves are, are doing well, so. Give a shot of the exclusion cage here. I think this shows a little better story. I guess the deer probably are hitting this harder than I thought they were. You can see the the height difference <laughs> inside the cage versus out. So this is why I planted on July 20th this year. Try and get ahead of uh, the main deer pressure since there's so much natural browse for them to eat in the summertime. Hey folks, so this is uh, the hairy vetch that we no-tilled into with the downbird cedar just over a month ago. Just gonna check on how things are looking. Definitely got some good growth on the plants that are here. Um, I'd say based on the other no-till fields we've got. Definitely not. as not as good a germination or not as good as uh, seedling survival, we'll call it. So I'm not sure if maybe this was just a little bit too much thatch, maybe. You can see this, this stuff is real pretty thick mat of it here. Oops. Pretty thick mat of uh, vegetation here. I mean, we'll see. There's More things sprouting, but overall, I would say I'm not not terribly impressed. We've got a an exclusion cage up here. It's definitely looking a little bit better inside the cage. At least the plants that are there are a little bit larger. But again, there's a lot of blank spots. All I can think is just yeah, it's a little bit too much thatch for that seed to get enough sunlight to germinate. So yeah, we'll have to see. We'll probably end up uh, 
salvaging this this plot with some rye, some air rye here in the next week or so. Yeah, every year is a new uh, learning experience for sure. Thanks for watching.